Gaffer, thank you very much for sitting down with us. A few days on from the huge win against Preston. What are your final reflections on that one? Um, yeah, look, it's a good performance. I think there's a lot of elements that we did quite well for a home game in particular as well. I thought we, we tried to um, make sure that we um, made them work incredibly hard without the ball, which I think is one of the things you always want to do as a home team. But you're trying to get the balance right, and the balance is always making sure you've got a little bit of stability defensively as well to to go and do it continuously. And, and um, you know, I thought we got our rewards. I think when looking back on the game, I thought the performance was just about good enough to go and get the win. I know we had a little bit of fortune in, in the way that the the goal came about, but um, but we created some other good moments. Um, you know, could could create more, and I think that's a, that's been the sort of thing that we've we've looked at. How can we get better? Um, but I think we all knew it was an input, you know, after the way QPR ended and on the back of, you know, a previous amount of time, you know, it only, <clears throat> you don't want to get back into that sort of here we go again mentality of not being at a win game. So I think it just gives everyone a little bit of a lift momentarily. It doesn't last long in a championship, unfortunately. Um, but everyone feels good about it. Everyone feels good about the performance. But I think more importantly, everyone recognises why we won the game. You know, because we worked hard for each other and we did the basics of the game really, really well. Um, and that's what we've got to try and replicate for, for the last six games. You played a, a little bit of a different system to the one we saw at QPR as well. How did you feel the players adapted to that? Yeah, just uh, it was something I thought about before QPR, but you know, I felt we needed to find a way to be a bit more stable defensively. Um, and then sometimes when you see certain things, it, it then opens your eyes to what maybe you need to do. And, and sometimes until you see the players competitively in your own form, it's hard to word it out. But certainly for the home game, we wanted to um, we wanted to make sure that we we took the game to them. We didn't we didn't need that extra defender, um, you know. And I thought we actually worked it a lot better from a from a shape perspective. Um, going to Leicester. You know, it might be that we have to revert back, it might be that we don't, but I think you always try to f find that moment within the games to um, to give you a little bit of an advantage. So, yeah, yeah, I, think, I thought the players took it on board really well. I've said to them before, we might have to tweak and change sometimes to win games. I don't think we're, I don't think we can rely on being so good over an eight game period playing one way. Um, I think we're at a stage of a season we need to find different ways to win different games and, and um, you know, the players have taken on board all those ideas very, very well. Of course, there's still a lot of work to be done as well, but does it feel like a bit of a weight lifted at a time where the team had gone through such a tough period of results? Um, you'd have to ask a player that. I think as a manager, you just you tick the game off. You go three points, great. And then you, all you're thinking about is the next one because you know how this division works. You know, if you don't then go and get results and back that up, then you're back in the same position two, two games down the line, do you know what I mean? Or three games down the line. So I don't, I don't even know. So you're, at this stage of a season, every game you win is a huge game in comparison to three or four games into the season, of course. But it's the same sort of feeling. It's a feeling of confidence. You feel good about it. The players feel good about it because of the atmosphere. Um, but what you can't do is you can't get too carried away with that. You've got to make sure you're ready to do all the things that you did well in the game. And that's, that's, it's always about the things that you do in the performance that you've got to work hard to replicate. Um, you know, and that, that, that's been the focus. Like you say there, does it give you that bit of momentum and that bit of confidence that you need when you're now coming up against a side as good as Leicester? Yeah, momentum's a f it's difficult, isn't it? Because like one one win, one performance. You know, I'm not sure that's momentum. I think, but you know, yes, momentum is a factor in the championship. But you gain momentum by putting three, four, five, six performances together, and then you have that team that you feel confident they're going to go out there and 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 win games. Um, you know, I think what it gives the players is that little bit of belief, that extra belief that they can win a game of football. Because um, I know it, the longer you go without doing that, it starts to put little seed of doubt in your mind. Um, and the, and they've found a way to do that in, in different ways. You know, the team worked incredibly hard for each other. Um, you know, again, we saw good clips of, um, I think, first half, one of our defenders gets beat and everyone gets beat and Lee Buchanan comes racing across the pitch to make a a sliding tackle in the box, to me there, that's just as important as Jay Stansfield's finish. And they're the things that we've spoke to the players about. You know, you can't, that just can't be wiped away as if it's nothing. You know, that to me is massive. And, and if you start to piece together all those moments, then you get a team that's really hard to play against and because and, um, we know we've got quality. So, so yeah, they're the good moments again, but you know, it's one game, isn't it? And, 
you know, certainly as a footballer, you, you're paid to put performances and performances out there, not, not, not just one. It's, a, it's been a really big week for Jordan James, making 100 appearances for the club and now being nominated for the Championship Young Player of the Season as well. How pleased is everyone for him? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, he's a talented young player, isn't he? Um, you know, and he's had a sort of different different type of season in, in, in many different ways. I know there's been a lot of, spe- you know, from afar I saw there's been a lot of speculation around him, but there's been speculation because he's done a lot of things well and showed a lot of quality. And that's, I think, the focus for any young player, if you perform well on the pitch for your club, then all the other things, as we've seen historically with this football club, um, they just come your way after that, you know, but, but that's the main focus. He was a little bit... It was a little bit harsh, I think, that I took him off early and I spoke to him about it. But um, sometimes as a player, you know, if you're the only one that's come off at that period, you feel a little bit, have I done something wrong? Or have I done, you know, and, there, and there certainly wasn't that. I just felt maybe, you know, he's, he's such a talented player. The expectation from me in his performance is, uh, you know, I expect him to be up there every game. That might be a bit unfair. You know, he's 19, but that, that's what he showed. So he's got to he's got to really aspire to put those performances in and make sure he finishes the season really, really strong because, like you say, he's had a good season, some good experiences internationally. Um, he's a great talent, but you've got you to gotta finish that season off and be one of the main players that the team looks to in, in big moments. Uh, looking at Juninho Bakuna as well, he's been deployed pretty much all over the pitch this season, but you've started him wide in both games so far. Is that where you feel like he's at his best? Uh, yeah, I think he's one that can play central as well. Um, you know, I think he's at the moment with the way that we want to play. I think he's he's been perfect for some of those forward areas where maybe, you know, if he if he maybe gets the first bit not perfect, we've still got him available when we win back possession, and and he's the sort of player that can hurt any team in the division. You know, that's what that's what I've seen with him. Um, he's got great quality. Um, you know, and, and, and I spoke a lot to him about, you know, demand, making sure that he demands, you know, that same energy off the ball that he shows that he shows on it. Because when he does that, and I thought he did it really, really well at the weekend, uh, or Monday rather, um, it makes a huge difference to the team. You know, and that's, again, when you're a, when you're a very, very talented player, um, you know, if you can fit those talented players within that team structure as well, then it's absolutely happy days as a manager. So, so um, yeah, I've, I've seen both sides to that. Um, but I thought he was. I thought he was outstanding. On, on, I thought he showed a lot of Premier League qualities on on Monday. Um, but he's another one that he's got to go and show that again for the last six games. So, looking uh, looking ahead to Leicester, they'll be really keen to get their title charge back on track. What are you expecting from them? Really good side, really good players, um, very good manager. Um, you know, they're the sort of team that. You know, they, they, they work with their system to try to get their best players in the best positions in space a lot of the time, you know, so um, the wingers give them a lot of width. Um, they've got good quality and good control in, in midfield areas in the back three and um, the way they work it, you know, is quite specific. Um, but they're a good side, they're a really good side. I think they cause, no matter what you do against them, I think they've got the ability to cause any team problems. Um, but of course, like always, you try and add that respect, but you also try and make sure you go there, concentrating on what your team needs to do to try and cause them problems as well. And, and that's no that's no different wherever you wherever you're going. But we certainly know that in a championship season, away from home at Leicester is is one of the tougher games um, to come up against. And we know we've got to play well, like like any team does. I think only Southampton average more possession than Leicester do. Are you expecting to have to do a little bit more work without the ball? Yeah, I think, look, you, you, you know, you don't want to go there and just let them dictate possession and do whatever they want. Um, you know, we're certainly not going there just to try and fill spaces, run around and get beat. You know, we're, we're going there to try and take the game to them in the right times. But you've got to be res- respectful that, you know, they've got, they have good control of the ball. Um, you know, like I said, they build possession and retain possession um, in a very specific way. Um, but that's me. That's any game, you know. Any game has got its different challenges, and, and um, you know, like you say, maybe there's going to be moments where we're certainly going to have to be comfortable out of possession, comfortable without the ball. Um, but I think we've got players that can hurt any team with the ball as well. So we've just got to find those moments. Uh, just finally on uh, injury news, you mentioned we'll be waiting a little bit longer on Juki and Mark Roberts. But how close is Alex Pritchard to a return? Yeah, he, well, he's trained. Um, I think he trained Sunday. We felt it was a little bit too soon after one day just to put him straight back in the squad. 
Um, we've obviously got a reasonably big squad at the moment. Um, you know, and no fault of anyone's, so we've got quite a lot of players in a similar area of the pitch. Um, you know, so in, in terms of the bench, sometimes I've got to make good decisions. It might be leaving one or two out, no fault of their own, but just because I don't need, say, six, like eight, ten num type of players, do you know what I mean? So we've got to find, find ways to make good decisions. Um, but he's one, of course, that with his experience and quality, there's going to be times when you know you're going to want that type of player available to you. So certainly, it'd be it'd be available for Leicester. Gaffer, thank you very much. Thank okay. you.